Hi guys, I thought I'd show you how I play Farming Simulator because I play it more like a manager these days and uh, I let Auto Drive and Curse Play do kind of basically all the work to fill up those big silos. And uh, yeah, in this video I give you a quick overview of uh, how that can work if you have. Uh, uh, if you made all the uh, auto drive courses, and uh, yeah, that's a lot of work that goes into that, into preparations. But if they are done, then it works perfectly. And I only have to drive this Xarian to uh, compact my silo basically and watch over all the drivers. So let's start. And uh, yeah, jump into one of those. And yeah, let's start with him. So, <coughs> this one way works on curse play, nearest waypoint, so this is how we can continue. And he starts to get to work, but he has to wait for a driver, of course, which is on the way over there. And the uh, same goes here, nearest waypoint, start. It's the, my second harvester. Uh, and uh, yeah. Let's start him. It's already set. And he should drive <coughs> to the deer up there and then that works perfectly. I can give you an overview of the map. And here you see all the curse play uh, ways I, I made. This is where the silos are and there is a second one on the those big fields are the ones I uh, am currently uh, um, uh, harvesting. So, um, yeah, let's jump to the next one, send him on, the, on his way. He will wait until it's his turn. Uh, that one just came from the silo. He has, has to drive back, and this one is filled up. And he will drive to the silo to unload automatically. And because one is not enough, I also have uh, yeah a second field, a second harvester. Do you call them harvester? I don't know. In German, they are called Hexler. So do you work? And there is the second one, he will drive to the second silo, which is over there, and fill that up. So here you see all the waypoints which are necessary to fill up the silo. This one I currently uh, don't use because uh, the field is so close I only need two tractors for that. So I think we can get rid of the points, have a better overview. And as soon as they unload, I only have to compact it, drive it up there, which works very nicely. The green is a bit too green for my taste, it should be more yellow. It's mice mostly. I also use sunflowers, sometimes grass for that. And yeah, keep it nice and compact. And that's the way to go. Stuck there. So, I don't have to do much work anymore to get that done, which is pretty nice. And yeah, kind of realistic. You can do that in multiplayer, of course. But yeah, it's not like. Uh, not the same. You have to play with dependable people, I guess. Which is not always an option. I play on PC, so I can use all the script mods 
So here we see one unloading. He uses that one to drive back. And for again, sometimes it happens that he unloads, dry, uh, drives to that point and back one more time. Even if he, if he is empty, I don't know why. But it still works. Just have to keep that in mind if you play on a, on a machine the, like this one that the, the unloader will come back. Unloader, I guess that's not an English word. He should be finished. And drive forward back to the field now. Come on. Move. Slow today. Yes, there he goes. Will he drive back again? No. Straight to the field. Nice. Yeah. It's a lot of preparations for this to work. And you have to know how auto drive works. But yeah, once it's done, it's uh, not much work anymore. Everything is kind of automated. And this is how I wanted to play the game now, after several hours in. Can't do everything myself. Way. So the next one has no problem driving on there. And sometimes you have to jump into all your moving vehicles to see if there is any problem. It can happen that they drive on, the, on another machine. You see this is a mod for example that it doesn't like to drive in straight lines but it still works. The smaller ones work better, he just unloaded. This one just started to load, and there is the next one on his way. Let's see where he is at. Uh, can't see him on the map. Normally, the drive over there. Anyway, yeah, here we see another one unloading. So he has to drive forward and then backwards in a straight line. Which is not a problem, of course. And I will uh, do my work, I guess. You can also automate the uh, Xerion to do this, but yeah. I mean, I have to do something, don't I? That's easy work. I think I can do a better job than uh, cosplay in this case. It's almost finished. Yeah, this is how you get rich, I guess. So he probably will drive forward and backward again once. Better look out for that. Yeah. Not quite sure why he does that. Yes, he has to find the right waypoint and then he can use the. Uh, the right lane. And now he should. Yeah. Bye. Shield up a bit. Yeah, that looks much better. So he is still waiting. Ah, that field is finished. Okay, so uh, we will send him to unload. And 
the other harvester can go back to the shop because that field is finished and we don't need you anymore so jump into that one moving out of the way Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, not in the way of any of my uh, driving lines. Lanes. This is where I can wait for his next uh, job. He will go and unload over there. This one I'm currently not using. drives up to the John Deere over there, he is on his way. So you see this field is uh, not finished yet. Um, how much is still? Yeah, not much left. Okay, so you already reached uh, the silo and uh, there is another one over there. Loading. It's easier to use uh, small, uh, smaller ones um, if you don't have enough space. Smaller machines, smaller two axle, two axles uh, uh, hanger. It's on hanger in English. Uh, haven't done a video in a while. Anyway, this is how it works, and all I have to do is uh, jump through the machines, see if there is any problem, and as soon as they are here, I will come back to Sila, and then we have a lot of uh, stuff for the BGA, BGA. That thing over there, reducing energy, reducing money, lots of money. So come on, move. Bit slow. Done. We'll drive back one more time. Oh, but that shouldn't be a problem. He has trouble. <laughs> trouble is keeping a straight line. Anyway, makes my life easier so we can drive up there. And we are good. This is how I do big fields, fully automated. So they are done. And this field, yeah, not much work anymore. Um, it's best if you set the uh, settings so it can drive through the field. And, uh, this way it's uh, easier to avoid conflicts between the machines on the field. Even though it's not very realistic, but yeah, still a better way. So he's patiently waiting for the next one to arrive, which is the MP track intercooler, my favorites. There he is, loading up. Yeah, so. Uh, 
yeah as you can see uh, you have to do a lot of work previously to get all the fields working and uh, they can drive on the right lanes back and forth and especially the silos you have to drive uh, backwards set some points I did two points here because if it's filled up he, dri he tries to drive too much uh, into the end of the silo where it's already filled up it does not always work but yeah that's it I will make the video mine now, so goodbye.